I just wanted to say thanks for sticking up for me earlier, you know, with Annie Angenor. She can be pretty full on, can't she? Yeah, yeah, I had noticed that. <laughs> you didn't have any luck talking her into letting me stay, did you? Well, not without some sort of authority figure to keep an eye on you. Oh, what about Connor and Stuart? No, no, she won't even consider that, and I actually agree with her. Well, you know, it's not fair to ask those boys to take on that sort of responsibility. I thought you were on my side. Well, it's not about sides, Scott. It's about what's best for you. And what I want doesn't count for nothing. No, it counts for everything. I thought I could rely on you. Now you're going to turn your back no, no, on no, me. No, 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 I'm not going to turn my back on you. That's what it looks you. like. Just, just let me finish, all right? Now, I had a very long and a fairly heated conversation with Ange, and we've agreed there is one option we could try. How would you like to move in here with me and Cindy? Here? Yeah. And, and, and I promise you, if you agree, that I'm in it for the long haul. I'm not going to give up on you. And, and of course, I would speak to your parents. You'd really do that for me? Yeah, I would. Well, what do you reckon? You want to move in? <laughs> with a couple of babes like you and Cindy. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Just, just one thing though, me and Cindy, we won't be sharing a room by any chance. Will we? <laughs> oh, you wish. <laughs>